All right, what is up guys and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. So in today's video, I am on the Ringu PTB. So in this chapter, we are getting a new survivor and a new killer called the Onryo. I think I've played maybe around one hour of DBD in the past like two weeks. So I'm probably not going to be very good this video, but I'm excited to check this out. Boon Dark Theory is basically a haste boon. When you're in the range of it, you get a 2% haste boost. It might go up to 3 when it's tier 3. I've only got it tier 2, so I'm not quite sure. Empathic Connection shows you all the auras of the survivors when you're injured, and you heal other survivors 10% faster. It's alright, it's like empathy, pr pretty much, just like on steroids. And Parental Guidance, which I think is going to be a really cool perk. It basically gets rid of your grunts of pain, your scratch marks, and your blood for 10 seconds after stunning the killer. So imagine combining this with some other perk, you know, it could be could be pretty good. <laughs> if you guys do end up enjoying this video, please do consider subscribing. We're really close to 90,000 subscribers. Anyways, let's just get right onto the video. All right, we are in on the game. I'm gonna be honest, this sounds a little bit complex on the survivor's side of things. Uh, she's already on me. She's also really small. Okay, uh, so we're gonna have to kind of figure this out. Oh my god, she has passive phasing like spirit. Okay, so she's manifesting. All right. I, I really don't know how this is gonna work. So that does injure you. I do have the perk, which allows me to have zero scratch marks, but I don't think that's gonna work. Especially not on this map. Let's get the stun. She didn't like that. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Now I've stunned her. I have no scratch marks. No grunts of pain. And no blood pools, but I, again, I don't th think she's going to lose me. Um, wait, she actually did. That perk combined with smash hit is probably going to be, like, insane. TV, retrieve tape. Okay, retrieve tape. And now I've got a tape, and then I'm, I'm just going to go over to whatever this is. Do I have to put it in? Okay, I put it in. Insert tape. Uh, wait, is she coming through? What? There was no animation. I was expecting an animation for her to crawl through, but she just, she just, uh, okay, interesting. She just appeared. No. All right, we are getting saved. Thank you very much. I'm going to go and try to insert that tape once again, but I'm not going to die for it. Maybe heal me up. All right, thank you. All right, let's try this once again. I've still got a tape uh, and she's chasing someone, so I don't think she's going to, I don't think she's going to teleport. Did I do it? I did it. Okay. I'm no longer condemned. Okay. I, I I don't know why I did that, but I did it. Oh, she's going for me. She she has passive phasing like spirit. Do you make that? Yeah, she's manifesting. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna drop that on her. This killer is so cool. Oh my god. Oh, she teleported. Okay, that's the animation I was expecting to play last time, but it didn't happen. How did she know that I was here? Maybe she can... Uh, Maybe she can see. I don't think I make that. Nope. Oh, boy. My contempt meter is going up. This passive phasing is ridiculous. It's going to take a while to get used to playing versus a killer that can do that. Oh, we're in the new boon as well, which gives me a 2% haste, which is actually, like, a lot. I'm good. Is she gone? She's gone. Okay. Okay, let's try this once again. Insert the tape. Okay, she didn't TP. Nice. Okay. My condemned meter was getting pretty close there. I'm glad I actually got that. She has... Oh my god. Wait, this is sick. She has the new perk that once a gen reaches 90%, you have to hit constant skill checks. <laughs> that's so cool. I mean, it's not very hard, but that's really cool. Oh my god. She is back on us. Bro, I'm, how am I supposed to... Like, see where she's going? Huh? Oh, that's the first time she swung. That's so cool. Oh my god. That's so cool. I think she's gone, right? Yeah, she's leaving. This is not going well. She's just going to begin to slug, I assume. Oh, no. Wait, everyone's injured. Oh, my God. No one is going to be running Unbreakable. Like, absolutely no one. So, I guess this game is over. <laughs> because all of my teammates went down. All right, well, interesting. Let's just... I, can't, I don't know which way she's coming from. All right, well, <laughs> we got slugged to death. All right, I'm understanding a little bit more about this killer now, so <laughs> the second game should be a little bit better. All right, let's head on to that. All right, and we are in on the Rancid Abattoir. After reading up a little bit more on the killer's power, I understand it now. You have to turn off the TVs so she can't teleport. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, so she teleported through the TV, so I'm going to grab the tape from here 
And what I can do is go and turn off multiple TVs. I don't think I can turn... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that... <clears throat> Wait. My condemned meter is going up because I have the tape in hand and I can't get rid of it right now. Interesting. Well, let's just see how this plays out. I can make the window. I guess I'm just going to loop her at Shaq. Okay, so she's got a pretty standard uh, vaulting animation. Nothing too special. I need to get rid of the uh, this tape. Actually, my meter's not going up. And once again, is it blocked? There we go, it's blocked. I'm not going to use God Palette. Let's head over here. Did she just double vault? <laughs> she, she double vaulted. She should probably manifest here so she has the passive phasing because that makes it a lot harder for me. That makes it a lot harder for me to actually see where she's going. She, uh, uh, nice mind game. We can make this though. Oh, it's such a cool swing animation. I think that is one of the coolest, if not the best swing animation in this game. All right, she's leaving. Okay, let's turn off the TV. And zoop, off. Right, I'm going to take the tape out here and start turning off some TVs. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I took the tape out of that TV so she can't teleport here, so now I can freely work on this gen. Hey, don't mind me. I just need to insert the tape into here. There we go. And I'm going to go back to my gen. Oh, she does have the perk. Let's go. I mean, this is really hard to miss. I don't know. Unless you find skill checks hard in general, I don't think that perk is going to be very good. Uh-oh. I'm going to body block. There we go. Maybe she'll go for me. Yeah, okay. We have a pallet here, though. If she uses her manifest here, which she definitely should, uh, I, I think I'm pretty much dead. Because passive phasing around a loop like this, that is so crazy. I love it. Passive phasing around a loop like this is just surely instant death. Let's just drop that. I'm not going to be greedy with it, even though I haven't been hooked. I could I could, I could, could do with being hooked once, maybe. All right, I'm going to loop this as much as I can. I might have been a bit too greedy. Oh, boy. Respect. <laughs> I think I was a bit too greedy. Did she just teleport away? No, she's still on me. She is so short. Oh, I might have been a bit too greedy. She seems really quick. Oh, I was a bit too greedy. I, I'm not used to her lunge yet. She seems really quick, but I think it's just because she, she's small. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I'm never going to be able to flash that save. That, that is such a weird timing. I think we can make this vault. Yep. I think she's teleporting away. Oh, no, never mind. Double vault. You're going to vault again? N no, no I, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Never mind, she swung. All right. The best respect ever. Watch. Respect. <laughs> oh, boy. Do I make this? I don't think I make it. Oh, oh. Bruh. Yeah, I know. I know. All right. There's only one generator left, and I'm pretty sure that it is over here. I think she gave up. She hasn't really done anything in the past couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I guess. <laughs> GG. All right. Let's go. GG's. <laughs> All right, once again, we are in on the Rancid Abattoir. Oh, okay, this game, I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to... She's not going to respect. I'm going to intentionally... Well, not intentionally, but I'm going to try and get my meter to fill up to see what her Mori looks like, pretty much. I have to do this. It is experimental, so I'm going to retrieve the tape on that one. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that. And off. <laughs> and off. You want to be healed? All right, fine. We're getting close. We're getting close. As soon as I take this tape, we're going to be... Wait, no, insert tape. I don't want to do that. All right, for science, turn off. Okay. I'm now in the mode of being moreable, I think. I wonder if I'm insta-down or if I'm... Uh... No, okay, I'm not. So if she goes for me and downs me, which... <laughs> I'm going to try run her, but I really want to see how this works. Um, I'm gonna probably go down. She respected that even though I wasn't looking. Respect? Yep. We can make the window. And then, I was gonna say fake the window, but that didn't really work. I wonder if she knows that I'm moreable. She's gonna double back. Never mind. I wonder if she knows. <laughs> no. I, I think it's about time. Any double backers? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mori me. Maybe. Yes? Oh my- Uh? Uh. 
Okay. Wait, I'm just dead. That's it. Game over. That. Okay, so you really don't want that to ha happen. Oh my god. Okay, well, GG. <laughs>